Here are the refines. We have uh, the Forsady refine. Uh, and the Warrior Princess refine. Sure. The usual. As well as our new weapons for Jenny, Springtime Staff, and Arden's Blade. Let's start from the top. Starting with Forsady. Uh, it did change a little bit, actually. If unit's HP is above 25% and unit initiates combat, grants attack and speed plus 4 during combat, and unit makes a follow-up before folding the tower attack. The new change is that the condition was dropped from 75% to 25%, which is a pretty big buff because that means he never actually needs to run Desperation anymore. So as for the refine, at start of combat, if full's HP is above 75, grants attack speed plus 4, and if unit initiate combat and also to unit during combat and also neutralizes penalties to unit's attack and speed and bonuses to foe's attack and speed. Ooh, that's actually very strong, actually. So... I like it. It's definitely what you need it. But he really didn't need all that much because, uh... Forsady was already very, very strong. So, giving him this, you know... Definitely keeps them up in line with like some of the current new um, wind infantry units we have. He gets a lot. He is a very, very, uh, very hard hitting player phase unit. He he has a little bit different stuff than say Merrick, but he can just run no follow up in his B slot, so it's not a big issue. So I would say. There isn't too much to add to this, like, if you were using Forsetti in the first place instead of, uh, foddering him for Special Spiral, you know, your game plan doesn't change too much, except you have a little more stats to play with, and you have an, uh, an easier to hit condition with, uh, his HP needing to be above 25 instead of it being above 75, so perfect right there, not gonna lie. And, you know, the full condition being like a uh, 75% isn't terrible. It's not 100%, so it's definitely usable. So, yeah, I'd say this is a pretty great uh, refine. He didn't need too much already, and he just got a little bit more to keep him in line with everyone else that's new. Uh, Next for this is Warrior Princess, with, which is King Shin Hanoka. It's effective against flying and armored foes. Grants speed plus three, the usual. Grants attack speed plus four to allies within two spaces. And if unit is within two spaces of allies, grants attack and speed plus four to that unit during combat. All right, pretty good. Gives her a little bit of support. Um, you know, adding four and attack, attack and adding four attack and speed to allies is pretty nice. I like it. That's why I use Setif, but you know, Setif isn't like a flying bow unit with armor effectiveness. <laughs> But that said, eh, you know, it's not terrible. It might help with her damage a little bit because her base attack is kind of shit when it, com when it comes to like fighting armor units. And then for her refine, it's attack and speed, defense, attack, speed, and defense minus four on foes within three spaces. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Okay. So since it's three spaces, you can throw her in the back of something and let her be like a, like a full support. It doesn't lower res, but that's fine. So, all right, let me set up the example. Let's say you're supporting, you're using her as a support, right? You can put her behind a space behind a melee unit and they'll get that effect as long as they're fighting something as long as the melee is fighting something within range. If you put her adjacent, then it can hit range units. Of course, using uh, using her adjacent to an ally can be kind of sus, but if you get it to work, it works amazing. It, I'd say with uh, other skills like using speed, death rain, and all of the other fixings, I think Kenshin Hinoka can one-shot a few shitty armors. Uh, unfortunately, her bulk is kind of garbage, and anytime she hits something, if it counterattacks, you know, it's kind of over. Like, she just gets counterattacked, and she typically dies in one hit. 
like I'm pretty sure this uh, Hinoka isn't going to be killing something like my Winter Hilda anytime soon and it helps her but I don't think it's enough not gonna lie now on to our new units so Arden's Blade Speed minus five, unit attacks twice, even if foe initiates combat, unit attacks twice. So, they actually gave your boy a Master Sword. Mm, that's pretty, that's pretty stacked all on its own. Which also means that Sword Heart, Sword Reinhardt, he can actually, he's actually eligible for a Refine. And yes, this does in fact make Arden the first armored unit with a dual phase brave weapon. Unless I'm forgetting somebody, but yeah. Of course, unfortunately, it's a sword, and we already have plenty of master swords in the game. Like, just looking at Lazlo, right? Although Lazlo's is conditional, uh, Arden being an armor can be pretty great. So, for the refine, at the start of combat, if unit's HP is above 50%, grants attack plus 4, defense plus 6, and. Inflicts special cooldown charge minus one on foes per attack. So it also inflicts guard. That's pretty great. I like it. Uh, I don't know if I would use it over, say, Laszlo, but Arden has like the biggest, biggest set of like attack and HP available to like an armor unit. So your boy hits hard pretty naturally. Now, because it. Now, because his weapon has guard in it, the question is, what B slot do you put on him? You could always keep follow up ring. That way, you can have a dual phase quad. And I mean, your boy can quad, uh, sort of, <laughs> by just keeping this follow up ring on. But if you want to make something really good, you might want to go ahead and just, uh, yeah, just actually leave that on. Unless you have access to the one fighter skill that's seasonal lock that nullifies um, debuffs, then just keep follow up ring. Maybe, yeah, no, no, not even a maybe, just, just keep it. Maybe you might want to use bold fighter, but even then, I'm like, no, not really. Does, yeah, does this, the, 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 whatever, red dragon dude. I can't pronounce his name tonight. I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> anyway, you get him, and then that's probably a good, a better B slot. But as with all master weapons, the real best B slot is Vantage, because Arden has so much HP that getting into Vantage range with him is super easy, especially considering the part where, uh. You know, especially considering the part where if it, if he's in vantage range and he has to fight something with hardy bearing, you know, he can actually live it because he has so much bulk that uh, it doesn't actually matter that they have hardy bearing. So that's absolutely something to consider. Would I build Arden though? I'm still not sure. He is free. But uh, outside of memes, I don't know if I would actually do it. Anyway, our last one, and and now for our last refine, we have Springtime Staff, which I'm just going to read off right here. Grants attack plus three. Foe can't counterattack. After combat, if unit attacks, inflicts gravity on target and foes within one space. Unfortunately, it's not two spaces. I was hoping to be like stronger, but it's a gravity staff preference weapon with attack plus three. Uh, that was about expected. She comes with gravity normally. So anyway, uh, pretty standard so far, huh? So the refine. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, grants attack and res plus five to unit during combat, and restores seven HP to unit and allies within two spaces after combat. So this is strong. This is very strong. This is stronger than it looks because this refine was made in mind that you're only going to get one hit, but 
if you do what I do, and you um, just go nuts on the attack and the speed, well, this is already a shitload of uh, attack. This is a 17 might staff for one. And then when she initiates combat, or if she's attacked within two spaces, you know, you can make this a pretty funny enemy phase weapon, <laughs> but I wouldn't actually do that. Okay, actually I would do that because I unironically do have close counter on her. Uh, don't judge. I'm, I'm crazy like that. Uh, oh, okay, I'm not that crazy. Maybe a little bit, but, uh, you know, she hits extremely hard. Like, this is like, you want know how much attack this actually is? Like, you get five from here for 63, and then you get seven more here for 70. And then the other solo is also 76. So, you're... You're sitting at like 76 attack and like uh, 50 speed, and that's before blue buffs. 50 speed isn't a lot these days, but I'd say that's pretty decent. Oh yeah, close ward, close uh, close foil. If you get your hands on either of those, it'll actually do very well for her because her defense isn't like absolutely uh, okay. It's a little bit garbage, but bumping it up to 31 will probably help you out a little bit. Uh, her HP, however, is probably her weakest end, aside from her speed, but her attack, um, this is a healer hitting for like 70, 80 attacks, so, yeah, yeah. you maybe just want to work on her speed and defense if you want to build her around in a team. So, on top of that, it also has Breath of Life in it for initiation, right? But it, you also get this on enemy phase, so... That's it for the refines, except we're actually just going to play around with Jenny for like the next hour or something. But uh, yeah, that's going to be all for the refines review as far as I'm concerned. Let me rank them real quick. So first place, obviously going to Persetti. It, uh, it's just a stupid weapon. It's just stupidly strong. Having base desperation at that high and he can throw in no follow up or something like Luin's just really fucking good. Uh, it's not much extra as far as a refine goes, but it does uh, help him keep up. But I say that's probably the best refiner out of the batch, um, considering the unit that it's on. Second place, and this is a very, 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 very close second place because Jenny, 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 Jenny is so she's so good, dude. It it, it it has nothing to do with me having like an absolutely cracked sheep, but come on. The gravity effect is fine, but hitting being able to hit so hard as a staff unit, like you you dump her you dump into her speed, man. Like she doubles with like 80 something attack, bro. Like that shit's got that shit's about to go off. That shit's about to go like way off, bro. But yeah. Second place for me, Jenny. Third, it's gotta go. It's gotta go to my boy Arden. Like a master weapon, like that's already leagues and bounds ahead of like most weapon re weapons in general. The refine itself could have been a little bit better, mind you, but just giving him a master weapon puts him in line with like so many top tiers, like. Your boy Arden is going to hit like tier two, tier one real fucking quick. Like that's some very zero to hero shit. Like, you, I mean, yes, he's still a meme, but now he's a very good meme. And you know, that's a lot of thing. And that's that's kind of what you kind of hope for when it comes to meme units. Like, if a meme unit gets a refine, you hope it's broken enough to actually make them like serious a serious threat for somebody. If they weren't. If they were to run into him but he gets third place for me because the refine isn't all that special and because armor units have just some crazy shit going on for him that that refine doesn't really add too much to him and in last place you have kishinoka because it doesn't feel like they gave her enough to justify using her outside of like her funny support and it's like Wow, why did you give Hanoka support stuff? She needs damage. She needs a way to tank tanks, armor units specifically, because if she hits something, 
she's gonna get counter attack and she's just gonna die but a three range a three range rain isn't bad mind you it's really good if you use it for a support thing and if you stack rains together you can probably make her do some legitimate damage but it's legitimate damage on a unit that has paper for defense and HP and it's bit and it's really hard to get her to live things like you have to throw on sturdy impact I feel like she needs something to complement somebody using sturdy impact on her right and you know reducing attack by four is decent but I feel like it's not enough it's it's okay mind you if you actually use Kenshin Hinoka the extra bump and damage and will absolutely help you maybe you can one shot some things uh other than that i mean hanoka's kind of garbage is streaks are like garbage too it's kind of unfortunate if you happen to unfortunately be um a fan of hers or you waifu her or whatever um i'm not gonna judge by the way but you know it is what it is but yeah that is your refines uh